TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update, and uh, we're looking at the Dow which right now is up 110 after some two spectacular days. You would have expected that there would be some kind of a pullback today. Uh, but in fact, the Dow is up 87. Uh, in, my in, the, uh, in the show that we're about to do, the Tiger Technicians Hour, I'm going to go through all the alternate counts that we could be here. There's still internal strength. We're looking at the S&P also up very nicely right now. The S&P is up. Uh, 12 or 4220. I'm having a little trouble getting the charts to show, but in the meantime, these are the numbers. The QQQ uh, is up 48.48%, uh, up $1.76 at 325, right on the 200 period exponential moving average we've been talking about as resistance. Looking at the IWM above that, it's at 197, up 81. Now, this is going to be uh, very important because gold. Hasn't been really going anywhere lately, trying to rally out. It's up four, but it's stuck in a range. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar's not breaking down. In fact, it's showing a little bit of strength today. It's up as 52 ticks. If you're looking at crude oil, crude, crude oil is in fact down, again, down two at 92.25. It's really struggling. If you look at the TLT, which is bonds, uh, bonds are down. They were down sharply yesterday, down again. That means yields are going. Isn't this an incredible uh, a moment? You're looking at yields going high. Everyone was worried about the yields, and yet the yields are going higher and instead of going lower. And that should be worrying the market, but the market is holding very nicely. This, I believe, will turn out in the end to be some form of a congestion, a digestive day. I think in this next week we could see a little further, maybe a trading range next week. And some, some pullback. We've had some spectacular gains in stocks all over the show. You'd expect some kind of a consolidation. Still very bullish at this moment. We've got to wait for Friday at uh, 4 o'clock to see the weekly charts. But even the weekly charts, look at this on the, on the let's go to the S&P. Even the weekly chart on the S&P has broken out of that resistance level this week. And that is a good sign. Can it hold that? That's going to be important. I'll be back in a few minutes for the Tiger Conditions Hour. I hope to see you there.